Hey everybody, happy Saucy Saturday. That means it's time for another sauce review that I wanted to show you. How amazing are these bandanas? So let me get this on and we can do the review. Okay, now I can properly do this review. All right, so <clears throat> Sam Sahos Pina Donata. Um, this is my buddy that I chat with here and there, and I got to meet at the Illinois Hot Sauce Festival. So when I met him last year, he personally delivered my order here since he was coming to the Hot Sauce Festival as well. Um, and so Pina Donata is charred pineapple and ginger with toasted spices. I'm super excited for that because I love pineapple. I love ginger. You can't go wrong with that. It says shake well. This saucy journey began when I was just a long-haired metalhead in high school growing hot peppers in my backyard. After culinary school, I started my grind as a professional chef. Only when I merged my two passions of gastronomy and hot peppers was Sam's house born. The ingredients are pineapple, yellow onion, ginger yellow brain strain chilies champagne vinegar distilled vinegar garlic cilantro preserved lemon salt coriander cumin citric acid and xanthan gum got his little nutrition facts on the back there that is sam himself on the label so you can find him at samshouse.com or samsauce.com. I've been listening to his podcast that he's co-host of as well, so I've heard the pitch a lot. That podcast is Spilled the Sauce. You should listen to that. I just got caught up, so I've been listening to it on repeat here um, every episode so I can keep on track with them. So you should do the same. Check them out. Him and Roddy from Fireco. Um, so, let's get into it. it. Smells really good. I can smell the pineapple in there. Definitely smell some ginger. You can see. So it's thick but it's well blended you can see all the little specks of everything all the spices the toasty goodness got a good spoonful on my tiny spoon here it smells so good okay All right. <clears throat> okay. It's hot. Oh, but it's good. Um, even through the heat of it, I mean, yellow brain strain peppers are no joke. And there's definitely a few in there. But even through that, you taste the pineapple. And then as the pepper burn dies down, you can taste more of the ginger. I love ginger so you just get that more of the aftertaste and it's got good spices on it this is really good sauce the little garlic and cilantro go with it well this is delicious slam dunk um definitely check him out Check out that website, check out the podcast, check out everything Sam does because he's an awesome dude and clearly makes awesome stuff. He knows what he's talking about, an actual professional chef making hot sauce, so that's pretty cool. He has a lot of uh, different thoughts behind it than a lot of the other people do because of his background and uh, you can tell because this is really, it's a good sauce. Um, so yeah, he's based out of Minnesota. 
It's going for a second spoonful. So just a lot of flavor, good amount of heat, like, I don't know, seven on my scale. Don't trust me. My mouth's been abused at this point. Um, but like small amounts for the normal person, but you'll still get the flavor from it, even with the small amount. Um, pepper heads just cover your meal in it because this is so good. Um... It's an all-around mouth burn, and it's definitely clearing my sinuses, which is great because they're a little stuffed right now with allergies being spring now, finally. Um, but I'm going to be able to breathe again after this. Um, the heat's already going away, though, pretty quickly. Um, like, it's nice and warm, but it's not painful. Not that it was painful, really, but, you know, it was hot for a little bit. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a really wonderful sauce, and get you some of this. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.